Singing her song. Yes, you are. Have we not been talking about luxury on this channel? Yes. And I mean, maybe not limitless, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> Finally, you're supposed to paint all your rooms black. I'm like, have we sent enough people to Pinterest looking for black rooms? That has finally, <laughs> finally changed the it's algorithm. Finally changed the algorithm. <laughs> that was really cheesy. I know. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack is here to add humor and uh, wit, of course, to today's video. Yes, very as witty. He seems to have such a knack at doing. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, have we got such a fun video for you? I can't believe that you didn't hear me squealing, just yeah! <laughs> from wherever you are on the planet, <laughs> when I realized that Pinterest, Pinterest had given us the biggest trends of 2022 and 23. And the way that they're doing it, this is not just interiors, it's overall, but I'm gonna focus on the interior ones. But the way that they did it was based off of what people are searching for. Wow. So we have data, people. <laughs> this is actual data that is gonna show you what is trending in 2022 and very likely to continue trending in 2023. and. There are some shockers. I've got the list sitting here. That's why I'm like eyeing it. <laughs> <laughs> there are some shockers. Some that I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> and then others I'm like, yeah, Yay. yeah. We cannot wait to share all of these with you today. We're gonna have so much fun. So make sure you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and let us know if you love trends as much as we do. And we need to hear from you, okay? Yes. We need to know which of these you are like, yes. And which ones you're like, oh no. <laughs> yes, say yes to number one, no to whatever. Like, yes. tell us. We've got a bunch, so let's jump in. Okay, I'm gonna start with my favorite. Okay, so little backstory and I'll make it quick. I was raised as a little Greek girl in America. <laughs> My parents are Greek, their parents are Greek. I have, I'm second or third generation based off of which grandparent it is and when they came over. So. Uh, my parents did not even remind me that I was American until we went to take our passports and go abroad and I was like, I'm actually not Greek. <laughs> nope, nope. That's why we always call each other Lady and the Tramp. Because what? you are the like purebred Greek and I'm the like whatever. Well, anyways, I don't even know what that even means. What I can tell you is that one of the top trends that Pinterest predicted is Hellenic Revival. And Whoa. I literally texted my mom, my sister. I'm like, you are not going to believe so awesome. what Pinterest has told us is going to be on trend. You are finally in style, mom. <laughs> <laughs> my mom growing up had a Greek key on anything and everything she could yes. ever Find. The Hellenic Revival is all about love and the Mediterranean and that relaxed vibe that Greeks are so good at. I don't know where I didn't get any of that though. <laughs> nope. I missed that part. <laughs> you got the passion part though. Got all the passion. Got the passion, all the fire. passion and fire. Yeah. Yeah. Not so much the relaxed like <laughs> Mykonos, like hanging out, Santorini. I uh, know. <laughs> But anyways, this is a really fun trend to jump onto. If you're thinking about potentially wanting to add a little bit of Greek revival, think about Aphrodite, think about statues. Oh my God, I have so many stories. I could do a whole video on oh just my gosh. this one thing. The stuff you told me. Oh my gosh, so my grandmother had statues in her yard of Greek goddesses. And so I've just grown up with that. So I think a Greek goddess statue would be incredible. Uh, you could do a rug with a Greek key. My sister just bought one for, for her oh home. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Uh, Greek keys on the pillows, on napkins, glassware. <laughs> Pretty much. So put Greek key on anything. Yeah. I mean, bedding. Oh. Put a great key on anything. That's awesome. I yeah, love that. Yeah, but you could also take the color palette as well if you love that blue color. My mom used to have that on her walls and we all yeah. talk about how we love that color. So it's a fun one to jump onto. And I personally think that, you know, Greeks are kind of forever and they, you know, started history apparently. You guys really did. <laughs> Every good thing came from a Greek. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but I do know that it's a really fun trend and it's one that you can have a lot of fun testing out in your own home. I think this is brilliant, by the way. Why? Because I've been loving Hellenic for 25 years. Oh. 
That was really cheesy. I know. <laughs> Next up, we have Cup of Time. And at first I was like, eh, throw that one out. What does that mean? So this is all about, this one is all about tea time and taking oh. a break in the middle of the day. And I'm like, we love it. Yep, we're already there. We love <laughs> taking a fika and relaxing with you guys and getting to chat about design and everything. And I'm like, we are there. We are already, We're already there, guys. there. So the cup of tea is all about taking time to relax, to have something warm. I love that this also plays into the Bridgerton theme. Have you guys noticed, it? if you guys haven't noticed, that Bridgerton and that Regency style is suddenly making a massive comeback, then you must be sleeping under a rock because people are going Nuts. Yes, they are. Nuts over Bridgerton. And if you haven't watched the show, it's on Netflix. This isn't a plug for Netflix. I just love the show and watch the whole thing. I think this is fun and it's one that I was like, ooh, I think tea time would be like just a really fun thing to also add in. There's so yeah. many great tea glasses. Oh, I was eyeing the little Demitasse teaspoons. I love those little ones. We have some in black, but I was also eyeing some on CB2 ooh. that I was like, hmm. I think you could do definitely tea items. I found some beautiful teapots and some teacups, and our daughter has been going nuts over tea lately, so we've just been ordering a ton of tea. Yeah, we have and we And I'll leave links for some of our favorite teas down in the show notes because we just love to have tea. It's just something that we do a lot of times in the afternoon, and it's just great to have that break. So definitely think about how you can include that one in your home as well. You are gonna die over this next one. What? See, I didn't give Jack the list, so he's learning these right along right with, with you. you. So the next one is the emotional escape room. What does that mean? How good is that? What does that mean? Like, How I'm curious. good is that? It's so good. And I'm like, I have totally been doing this. An emotional escape room is a room that is literally just for you to go and revive yourself and to relax and restore yourself. And I'm like, that is literally what I've been talking about in our bedroom and yes, bathroom. Yes, it is. And I've spent way too much money on my closet system and all of this because I'm like, I just need a place to like, you know, get away. Yeah, almost like an old <laughs> boudoir, like a place where it's just yours. It's I just love yours. this idea. Yeah, so an emotional escape room can be about your personal hobby. It can be about book reading. It can be about TV watching. It can, for me, like getting dressed and hmm. you know doing my hair and like I just I love these things that you know I, I just enjoy it it revives me it makes me feel so good so the emotional escape room is all about creating a room for yourself where you just feel like you can just get away from the world and restore yourself I mean how fun is that I love that idea isn't that cool? now I want but I have no idea what I put in it me <laughs> <laughs> Baby, of course. <laughs> I'm always helping you emotionally. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> On this one, think about cozy blankets, a cozy chair, and think about mm. the things that'll make you feel cozy and warm and restored. I have lots of those things in the bedroom too. It's like cozy chair. That's yeah, it. you do. Yeah, and your favorite books and magazines and yeah. candles. Yeah, it's I a, love that. It's idea. an emotional escape room. I totally love that. It could be a room that you go to all the time. It doesn't have to be. It could be a separate room. But yeah, how cool is that that people are looking for that on Pinterest? That, yeah, that means people are actually longing for that. Yeah, I think it's amazing. Okay, so apparently we are literally like, this is so true in our life. The next one is lake it till you make it. This is all about a sudden surge to escape to a lake home, a lake environment. And we are literally working on several lake homes right now. We really are. Like we are literally up at the lake more times than we've ever been in our entire lives. Yeah. And there is something incredibly trans. I, I just want to go all the time. Yeah. Now that we're doing it, we're like, we need to hurry up and get our own lake home because this is fun. Yeah, it really is. And I think that's why, we, let's just be honest, you, it's not... It's not hard to realize why these things are popular right now. <laughs> We've kind of all been through a lot. Some of us, you know, have extra twitches and it's been a nerve-wracking couple years. So I think that's why people are suddenly escaping back to the lake. I think in a way, this over the beach, that's what I think is most interesting. That is really interesting. Why the lake over the beach? And I thought maybe it's because people, and this is what our clients are telling us, it's 
it's accessible. It's somewhere they can go quickly. Also, there's something about the way that you are in a lake home that it's just sort of like in nature. It's in the woods. It's, I don't I know. I think it's quieter. It like is beaches, really quiet, are, beaches yeah. are full, right? There's people everywhere and there's activities and volleyball and yeah. whatever. So I think it's just, it's just a different pace. It is. It's just a different kind of pace. Yeah. It's a different kind of feeling. And you can be at the lake year round. You enjoy it in the winter. That's you true. can enjoy it all year round. Yeah. And yeah, we personally are working on several projects right now. We've been sharing you with you little sneak peeks on the Fridays with V. So if you aren't watching the Friday vlogs, Definitely take a peek at those because we give you peeks of the projects that we're currently working on. And we just took on one that is just, well, all of them. Gosh, they're yeah, just all, so just, many. they're all, they're, they're so all unbelievable. Amazing. So if you have a lake home, invite us over. Because <laughs> <laughs> we want to lake it till we make it. Yes, we do. But if you don't have a lake home, you can still get on this trend. You can bring in, I've been shopping so much for artwork that has a watery feel. You can bring in that palette into your home. Mm. You can bring that relaxed vibe into your spaces and you can bring the feeling of lake to your life every single day. And I think that's actually, I think that's a lot of fun. I love that idea. Yeah. I love this. I'm having so much <laughs> this fun. This is so much fun. I'm having so much fun. I am. This is okay. great. What's the next one? You're not going to believe these. Oh, they're so good. Okay. Next up. I have it on account of Pinterest has the data that Limitless Lux is coming in. Ooh. I'm like, yes. Singing her song. Yes, you are. <laughs> have we not been talking about luxury on this channel? Yes. And I mean, maybe not limitless, but <laughs> maybe, <laughs> I mean, who maybe. wouldn't love to have limitless, but I think that this is a really fun trend. I think that it's really important. As you can probably tell, if you are a regular subscriber on our channel, you've been watching the content. You know that we believe in everyday luxury, living your best life, living in that best space and doing these things that just really make you so happy. So with this limitless lux, it's just, it's, Fun. It's a way of pampering yourself, oh, yeah. and it does not have to be on. You can you can definitely do this on a budget. I think it can still be. We do it on Amazon right? all the time. We have so many lists on Amazon of like modern luxury on Amazon. So yeah, it can be done at luxury, any price point. It can be any style. This isn't a style. I remember so many people calling it a style, and I'm like, luxury isn't a style. It it's, it's it can be. Of, it's a way of the way you approach your life. Yeah, it's a way of living, really. Yeah, and just wanting the best, the best that you can afford, the best life that you can have. And it doesn't necessarily come with a price tag. It's, I, I mean, I use the same cup every single day and it's a luxury to me yeah. because it's something that I love. And having a cup of coffee is a luxury to me. It's not about price, so don't let that limit you. So easy ways to bring this into your home. Pamper yourself with some beautiful sheets and towels. Pamper mm, yourself yeah. with a, that beautiful coffee cup, something that really just feels like a treat. Uh, a beautiful blanket. I just love just how effective a beautiful blanket can be. We have so, so many of them. Um, I would say a candle. I think a candle. Of course you would say a candle. That's always my answer. <laughs> Jack's answer to everything. Every problem in this world is just, you just need a candle. You just need a candle, baby. <laughs> No, it is. That's going to go on the t-shirts. Can you see a candle, baby? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh no, but I, I think so, because a candle can take you anywhere. Yeah, that's so true. It can. So yeah, those are easy ways of bringing luxury into your home, and they don't have to, even if your budget isn't limitless, you can pamper yourself limitlessly. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, me too. Let's go buy another candle. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll leave some of Jack's favorites down okay. below. Yes. <laughs> Okay, next up we have Curve Appeal. And I'm like, finally, something for the curvy girls. Like curves are in in every single way. And I just love it. I love the curves. Even I, even though I am a more classic kind of person, uh, I've put a curve on the sofa. I've been doing a lot more curves. I've got the spheres in this room. It's different things like that. You can, yeah. You can have curves in your accessories, in your furniture, but curves are in, and I think it's amazing. I think that it's something that we should all embrace, and I think that it adds a lot of movement when you're talking about the interiors. It really creates a lot of flow in your space. I have put probably a round coffee table into almost every single 
uh, design, project. design project lately because yeah. I just love the way it just creates like this amazing flow in your space. And if you're like us and you don't have a room that maybe can take something like that, then you can also add curvy accessories vases that have really nice curves. You can have a table, like a side table you could add in next to, if you have a boxy sofa, do a curvy side table. That'll really just That's help awesome. bring that trend in and it doesn't have to cost much. In fact, I think a lot of our little drink tables are curvy Yeah. and they're really inexpensive. Oh, so yeah. we'll leave links for items that we've mentioned in the video down in the show notes for you in case you're wanting to check those out and get, get, get some ideas and maybe do some shopping. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> you gotta do some shopping. Let's be honest, we'll probably do a treat little yourself. shopping. Yeah, Come on. treat yourself. <laughs> No, but seriously, uh, we do try to leave those down there in the show notes for you, even if you just want to get some inspiration and some ideas. So yeah. Okay. Moving along. Okay. I don't even know if I should mention this one. I'm like, I'm just not. Should what? I mention the one that I'm like, nah, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> what is it? I can't read it from here. My okay. It's on, so. uh, Barkature. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> this is all about, uh, setting apart an entire room for your dog or your pet and literally like giving them the ultimate room to themselves and I'm like we don't have enough rooms for our own family in this house <laughs> and our problem is our dog doesn't want to be he wants to be in like someone's lap all I'm the time I'm amazed that he's not literally sitting I know with us. me too he's sleepy right now otherwise he's almost always like on us so I don't think he would like that I don't think you know creating an entire room for my pet I just don't think I'm gonna go there but I do think you can spoil your pet and have a little bit of fun we always subscribe to the bark box and every month it's just like look what's he I can't say his name or else he'll come running. No, but, please don't. Yeah. He, oh my gosh, when his little bark box comes, he it's just like goes Christmas crazy. morning. It's Christmas morning every single month. So I think that's a really fun way to treat your pet and yourself because let's face it, it's really all about us. But you know what I think is cool about this trend? Is it's actually really sweet. Yeah. Because people were searching for this. This yeah. isn't some expert this isn't from them creating top this, of a mountain this somewhere. This is from what people yeah. are looking for. When people got pets during COVID, now they want to take care of them. And they're like really curious, how do I spoil my dog or my cat? That's really sweet. I love it. Yes! <laughs> Finally! You're supposed to paint all your rooms black. I'm like, have we sent enough people to Pinterest looking for black rooms? That has finally, <laughs> finally changed the it's algorithm. Finally changed the algorithm. Everybody wants a black room, a goth room. And I'm like, yeah, but... We don't do black on black on black on black on black on black on black. No. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I, to me, do that's- Do I look goth to you? <laughs> you are like sweet. I'm the most J. Crew boy there is. <laughs> just like sweet and fluffy and like <laughs> really am. gentle. You're talking yeah. about my midsection, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that you remind me like of like a golden retriever, like just that, sweet and gentle. That kind and... of is my dog, yes. <laughs> Not more, more like me with like spikes and you are I, more goth I, than like you luxury I, goth. Yeah, I'm not wearing black today, which is it's a departure. You probably noticed when you came onto the video, it's like, what's happening? <laughs> You're still wearing it in other places though. No, Jack. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love the idea of goth being in, and I'm pretty much freaking out over it because I'm like. This means that people are actually They're looking searching for it. For it. They're that means that people are ready for, for something new and different. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This isn't goth like it's not a rebellious phase. teenager. This is like It's not a phase. It's a whole deal. Oh. I'm like, yeah. That picture is stunning. <laughs> we'll throw it up on the screen if we can. Yes. It's all about oh, this is goth business <gasps> casual. 90% increase in search. Goth cowboy, goth baby clothes, up 120%. Goth cowboy, that's gonna be my new look. Goth kitchen decor, up 85%. And goth pajamas, up 185% Whoa. in their search. So yeah, I I love it. And I think that what is so fun about each of these it's about trends. expression, that is yeah, so cool. That's what's so cool about it. And there were a lot more. There were so many other ones and they were so good. The other ones, like just to mention a couple of them, Puff Love, Hot Horology, is that how you say that? Don't know. Uh, night Moves, we've got Dopamine Dressing, Bejeweled, Rebel Cuts, yeah. Oh, this is all about expression, which I find yeah. so interesting because I feel like design has been, been a little homogenous for a bit. It hasn't. Like mainline. We were all like, 
Maybe. Maybe. But I feel like people but are like, wanting to express themselves. But I've been saying this for a while, that you started to see about five years ago, even before all this craziness started, companies were no longer making, like Prada was not making one size fits all bag. There's the one bag that everybody's supposed to have. They, they had realized that we had become a generation that wanted to be able to express ourselves. So they came out with yeah. multiple bags and multiple colors so you could find your bag that was totally you. And I think that's what this is showing is that this is a generational thing and in spite of everything that's been going on, that this is still something that we really believe in and self-expression is huge. I would say that actually of all these trends, self-expression is actually so cute that you picked up on that. <laughs> So he's like, well, he's always like, you're quick to be able to like notice that, yeah. that kind of stuff. And I think that's really clever. I think every one of these trends was really about that. It is. And I love that. It is. So if you take anything away from today's video, it's that you should definitely express yourself in your home and create a style that you just really, really love. And if it's not in trend right now, it probably will be at some point because who would have thought that tea time would get popular again. But yeah. I say, go for it. Do you and have fun. And so... That is all the time we have for today. We have to go pick up kids from school and uh, make some dinner and, you know, be adults. <laughs> but we sure do love this time that we get to sit down and, and just have such a good time with you guys. We just love this community. We love you guys so much. And um, it just means a lot to us. We talk about that a lot. Yeah. You guys are a part of our lives and our family, and it's it means a lot to us. So thank you so much to each one of you who's hit subscribe, who comes to hang out with us each week. It really means so much to us. Yeah. And that's our cue to end the video, because now the neighbor's drilling something. Yep. Well, there you go. Always something fun going on. Yeah. We've got lots of new stuff coming up, so we hope you'll hit subscribe and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you had as much fun as we did. Yeah, and leave so us a comment fun. about which one of these you're like, yes, I Please. really want that. Yeah, we really want to hear from you. I really you. want to hear from you yeah. guys. Yeah. Go check out our Pinterest account as well. We've got tons of ideas and inspiration there, and um, there's still more drilling outside. We're going to go. <laughs> Cheers, and children to pick up. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, so we asked the, everyone else to say which one they were most excited about. Which one are you most excited about? <sighs> well, I think probably the Hellenic. Hellenic and goth. <laughs> I am... Does that surprise you? Those two are so me. What about you? <sighs> you know me better than I know myself. That is true. I don't remember what they were. I would say, ooh, I would say. I bet, like it till you make it. I would say this crazy contract, crazy combination the tea time and the like it till you make it. That, no, that doesn't surprise me at all. Like I love the thought. You're just of, like sweet and. Kind. I am I'm a golden retriever running in the pond to get a ball. And That's I am me. like heels and spikes and Greek and. So I'm telling you, <laughs> if we were a Disney cartoon, we are the perfect couple. <laughs> the villain. Yeah, there's like the villain, the bad girl dog, and then the sweet golden retriever, who's just, and he falls madly in love with the bad girl dog. Mm -hmm. I never really thought about that. That's what but we I'm are. I'm the bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. You're the villain, and I'm like the sweet, sugary guy who. Yeah, sweet as sugar. Cotton candy that's why falls you're, out. So I, here, stick your finger in here. I need a little sugar. <laughs>